Good morning to A. So today for math, we're going to put together what we've been learning the past couple days with addition uh, story problems and subtraction story problems. And we're going to do both. And so we're going to talk about how we figure out if something is addition or subtraction. Um, because on these problems, they're going to be both addition and subtraction. The last couple days, you've had just addition or just subtraction. Um, so I have a new little anchor chart to share that I found that I really enjoy this strategy called cubes. And so cubes is what we call an acronym. So each letter stands um, for something. So the C is, stands for circle the numbers, which we've already been doing. The U is to underline the question. The B is to box any keywords. The E is eliminate what you don't need. So if there's extra information crossing that off. And S thinking about after you've solved, does your answer make sense? And so we're going to review again our addition and subtraction keywords that might help us. So in addition, things like total, sum, all together, in all, combined, more, or added to are all good keywords to think about that will tell us when to add. And then for subtraction, we have things like difference, fewer, less than, more than, and how many more helps us figure out when we should subtract. If you need help as you go through this with addition and subtraction strategies for how to solve these, you can always go back and look at Ms. Chin and I's um, videos from earlier um, last week, I believe, or the week before when I did a video on addition or subtraction strategies. So I'm going to share with you um, your assignment for today, and then I'm, we're going to go through and mark up the first one or two on um, all together, and then you can always copy that onto your paper. Um, when you go to do this. Okay, so here are my more numbers on a line or problems. Let me just get rid of my sidebar here so it's a little bit easier. There we go. Okay, so the first one says Alana found 239 shells at the beach. Maddie found 152 shells. How many shells did the two find in all? So I read the whole question. So now I'm going to get my tools here and I am going to circle the numbers. So I have this one. Oopsies. There we go. <laughs> and I have this one. Okay. Now what? I'm going to underline the question. So how many shells did the two find in all? There we go. I'm going to box my keywords. Ooh, so in all is my key word here. I'm going to actually use my box tool. There we go. So I have in all. And now I'm going to eliminate anything I don't need. So I don't think this one has extra information. So I think that one I'm all set on. But then I'm going to solve it. And then after I would think, does my answer make sense? So if I'm adding, so in all means we're adding. So if I'm adding these two, if I get a number that's smaller than the lowest number, which is 152, that doesn't make sense because if I'm adding, my number should be getting bigger. So if I get a number smaller than 152, that would be if my, that my answer doesn't make sense. Also, we learned a lot this year about estimating. So if I add 200 plus 100, that's 300. So my answer should probably be somewhere around 300, maybe 400 because my um, tens might push us into the next 100. But if I'm getting an answer like 800, then again, it probably doesn't make much sense. So think about those things as you solve your problems to make sure your answer makes sense. We're gonna mark up our next one and then I'm going to send you off to do it on your own. So Takai has played 383 video games. Cullen has played 215 video games. Who played more video games? How many more video games did he play? So first thing, I'm going to circle my numbers. I'm going to circle this number. And I'm going to circle this number. Okay. Underline the question. So I have two questions. So I have two things to underline. Who played more video games is my first question. And then how many more video games did they play is my second question. 
So now I need to box my keywords. So how many more are my keywords for this? Because that's telling me what sign to use, which um, operation to use, either addition or subtraction. So I know how many more, if we go back to our chart here, how many more has is subtraction? That tells me to subtract. So now I know on here that I need to subtract. So I would take, if I'm using an open number line, remember I'd set up my number line, I'd put my lower number here and my bigger number here, I'd solve, and I already know who played more because I can look at my two numbers and think about which one is bigger. But then I need to know how many more, and that's the part where I have to do some subtraction to solve. And then I'm gonna make sure my answer makes sense. So if I'm subtracting, my number should be smaller than both of these numbers. So if I'm getting a number that's either, that's bigger than these numbers, bigger than 300 or um, 80, 30, 83, then I know that it doesn't make sense because I should be subtracting. Or if I get a number that, so if, again, if we look at our place value, I have 300 and 200. If I think about 300 minus 200, that's about 100. So it should be a number that's kind of close to 100, Obviously, like I said, our tens can change things up a little bit, but if I'm getting a number like 15, then maybe it doesn't make a lot of sense. So I might need to go back and rework my answer. So this is your assignment for today. I am going to upload this with these two already marked up for you so you have some examples, but for the rest of them, there are six problems on here. So for the next four, you should make sure you're marking up your problem to make sure that you understand all the information you have. Um, and then I'll also post the Google Forms um, link as well. So I hope that everyone has a wonderful Wednesday and I will see you soon.